Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can make Windows XP look and feel more like Windows 10. And this is all going to be made possible through a very cool little customization pack appropriately named the Windows 10 Transformation Pack by Windows X Live. While I personally have not used the Windows 10 Transformation Pack before, I did used to use the Windows Vista Transformation Pack made by the same company or the same group of people. And uh, it was very very, very easy to do and when I found out that they had made this Windows 10 version this has been out for a couple of years now I think this came out in 2017 um, I thought that it would make a pretty cool video for those of you guys who are using Windows XP on, say, an older computer or on a virtual machine or whatever instance that you might be using Windows XP, but you kind of want to upgrade uh, your, you know, usability experience and make it look a little bit more like Windows 10. And that is all going to be made possible through this pack right here. Now, what I like about um, most of Windows X Live's uh, packs is that they are all automated and it's super easy to use. What these transformation packs generally are is a bundle of multiple different customization programs like themes and uh, extra programs and utilities that add features to the operating system that wouldn't normally be in that OS. So for example here, you can see that this is a screenshot from the Windows 10 Transformation Pack and you can see that it looks... Uh, you know, pretty similar to Windows 10. We've got a theme for the File Explorer. They've changed all of the icons. Um, they have changed, you know, the taskbar down here, added a, a Cortana-like search function, although it doesn't really look exactly like it. What's also really cool is this will work with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. The only thing that you need besides the package itself is .NET Framework. So there's three different versions here that you need to, to download depending on what version of Windows that you're running this on. It comes in a password-protected RAR file, but the password is listed on the website where you download it from. So let's go ahead and run this exe file and see what the Windows 10 transformation pack is all about. So the first thing that you see right when it uh, pops up is kind of like a Windows 10 themed installation screen. This is definitely themed around the uh, initial Windows 10 screen that comes up when you boot off of it. So we have a couple of different options. You can choose if you want to enable uh, repair checking on your files, which is recommended as it says, or you can just disable it entirely. We're just gonna leave it on the uh, recommended option. You can choose to change the system font. Now Windows 10 uses the uh, Sago UI font. That's the default font. So if you wanted to go for more of a Windows 10 look, you would definitely wanna choose that font. So that's what we're gonna be doing. You also have the um, immersive UI, and this only works on Windows XP Vista or 7, so this would apply in my case here. But what this allows you to do is add basically an extra interface to your system. So like the charms bar, for example, or the Metro start screen, you've got two different options for the full screen um, Metro or modern UI start screen. Since these things were included with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, obviously you're not gonna be able to reinstall. I mean, you, you could install like a third party version of that, but it really wouldn't be necessary. I'm going to go ahead and check out the charms bar because I'm definitely interested in seeing what program that they're using to uh, enable that. You also can choose some Windows 10 features. So you can choose, you know, large icon size, which would be for XP only. I'm going to definitely keep that on. Uh, virtual desktop, which is like the multiple uh, different desktops that Windows 10 has. Very, very nice feature. And we're going to enable the arrow frame UI. Now you can see that these three options down here do not apply to us since we're on Windows XP. So that's the Cortana like search bar, the start menu, and the arrows auto colorization. Now there is a uh, README file that is included as well. So if you want to get uh, more information about what this pack includes and uh, you know more of the actual credits and the people who help to make this, uh, you can read through this document here. I believe it will uh, yeah, tell you like the uh, change log as well. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit the back button here and we're going to install this. So these are the settings that I have chosen. You can obviously experiment with these things uh, in whatever way that you want to. But we're just gonna go ahead and install with these settings and I believe that you can modify them later on if you prefer. So we're gonna just go ahead and hit install. All right, so this is the, the first point in the setup where it actually asks the user for some input. So it's obviously gone through and applied some patches to the system. So now it's actually asking us what theme that we wanna use. So let's go ahead and see what themes that it has installed. So it's only this one that says Windows 8, so we're just going to go ahead and apply that. 
and it's basically just waiting for you to do that and then it's going to continue on with the setup so let's see how this looks yeah there's definitely a little bit of a windows 10 look going on here it doesn't look exactly like it obviously um so we're just going to go ahead and press ok and that should uh, allow the setup to continue on. And there we go, it says system must be restarted to complete the installation, click the OK button to restart. All right, so we've just logged back in here and you can see that we're now actually getting to see some more uh, pretty cool effects that this uh, transformation pack allows us to have now. So you see that the first thing is we have some arrow glass transparency. So yeah, that is definitely pretty cool. You may have seen that we do have the charms bar as well, or at least a um, replica of that. Obviously this isn't the exact charms bar from Windows 8, but we do have uh, a replica of that, and when you uh, press start, it just opens up the regular start menu. So when we first booted back up, we got um, presented with this sysinternal software license agreement, and this is to install the uh, multiple desktops program. So we're going to just hit on uh, agree here, and this allows us to set up um, some settings basically for this program. So it allows us to set a hotkey or a combination of hotkeys. So let's say that you wanted the alt key plus uh, one of the number keys, so one, two, three, and four, to switch between your different desktops. So if, if we press OK, and if I have a window open up here, let's just open this one here, and we press Alt 2, this is a brand new desktop. So you basically just use Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, and Alt 4 to switch between your four different desktops. I believe you can also do that from down here. So obviously it's not going to be in the same interface, in the same button down here like it is on Windows 10. Um, the arrow glass, I did not even expect this to work on Windows XP, so that is very, very cool. Here is the new uh, login screen. It just looks more modern, looks more like Windows 10. That's obviously the theme that they're going for here. And we should also see a new boot screen. So when we boot up here, you can see that, yes, it is just the new Windows logo with the uh, XP style um, progress bar. This is what the, the login screen looks like if you had multiple accounts on your system or if you had a password that you needed to type in when you uh, turned on your system. It just says to begin, click your uh, username. It has moved uh, the user switcher to the center rather than on the right. And you also have the uh, power controls down here. So you can press that to get to your uh, you know, standby, turn off, and restart controls. They are using uh, true transparency to actually, um, you know, do the whole arrow glass transparency. You can see that we have that running in the system tray here. They have changed a lot of the icons as well. So we have like the safely remove hardware, the volume, and I just saw the uh, network controls as well. So the taskbar and the start menu, you guys can probably see, really don't look that much uh, like the Windows 10 one. The start menu is not transparent or you know translucent to where you can partially see through it. When we open up Windows, let's see what Windows Explorer looks like. You see that we do have the, the uh, shorter taskbar button, so they've definitely done that. I think this is actually a program that is in a couple of their other um, transformation packs like the Windows 7 one. That screenshot on, on their website might just be, I think that was actually, yeah, so that's from Windows 7. Uh, this screenshot right here that I showcased at the beginning of the video, that is the, the pack running under Windows 7. But like I said, they have done a, a decent job with what they have. Also, you may notice that there are sound effects as well. When you minimize and restore windows you have a little bit of a, of a sound effect but taking a look at the file explorer here or you know my computer um they have definitely uh, applied some of the windows 10 icons they obviously have the uh, true transparency effect going on on the top here if we maximize this um just go into the c drive here you see that all of these folders um the new icons do take effect Pretty much across the entire system, we've got a new icon for Explorer. Um, but other than that, we do have all of these menu options on the side here. These all have new icons, you know, the Windows 10-like icons. That's very nice. If we go to About Windows here, they've even changed uh, Winver. So they've added a Windows 10 banner. And let's take a look at the Charms bar over here. So there were three separate interfaces that we could have installed. There were two options for the modern UI start screen, and there was one for the Charms bar. So what this does is it adds a Windows Windows 8 like charms bar to the system uh, and these buttons basically correspond to things in Windows XP obviously so the start button just opens up the start menu I don't really see the point of using that you can just go down here devices is probably just gonna open up if it opens up anything it doesn't look like it even opens up anything uh, settings will open up control panel there you go share will open up my network places and search should open up the search results so devices literally uh, just straight up does not open up 
anything. Now, if you want to modify any of your settings that you configured at the beginning of the Windows 10 transformation pack setup when you first ran the executable, all you have to do is run that same executable again and it, it will be able to detect that you have it installed. So you can use this to uninstall the uh, transformation pack if you don't want to go into add and remove programs. But what you can also do is reconfigure it essentially. So let's say that I want to get rid of this charms bar, try out the Win Metro Metro start screen. All I have to do is just select that and hit configure. All right, so we've logged back in here and for some reason it has applied a Windows Classic theme. I don't really understand what is going on here. Um, okay, so true, oh, what the, oh, okay. So this, I was like, what the heck's happening? So this is the uh, new interface for the start screen. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a tour here. It kind of shows you what it will do. It looks like there is a charms bar uh, built into this as well. So that is interesting. Um, so this is it. This is uh, the new start screen. It actually does a pretty decent job at uh, replicating it. Can we move these around here? I can't drag and move the icons around. I can't right click on them, but um, when I run them, it's actually asking me to set a picture directory. So yeah, we'll do my pictures. We'll hit okay. And I guess this is actually like a modern UI like photo viewer, which is pretty cool. Um, we can go to settings to select a picture naming directory. Can I let me try to find? Okay, well, just totally lost our, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's totally screwed up there. I don't see, you can see that that thing's flashing when I click over here. Let's hit, okay. let's hit, okay. Like you hit browse and it, it flashes and you have to hit enter just to get rid of it. So that's, that's a little bit of a bug. Um, but if there were pictures in this directory, I assume they would show up here. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the calendar, which opens up like a full screen, super enlarged calendar with just a tiny amount of stuff taken up here at the top. It's actually a web page, it looks like. So that's interesting. So it turns out it's not a replacement for the entire start menu. You can see that we do have the regular start menu here, but if you mouse over here to uh, the bottom right corner, this is actually a much better implementation of the charms menu for sure. That, that looks way better. Um, we can go to settings, which will, oh wow, they've actually got like, a, like their own settings panel in here too. You can even shut down the system too. That's super cool. Volume you can change, you can, uh, view your uh, network settings and even go into win metro settings definitely want to run this automatically um definitely run this in the background i don't want to display the time in 24 hour format hit okay um and search will actually open up its own search ui so that's very cool um let's say that i want to search for this is going to be like a full screen search too that is actually pretty cool i i have never used uh, this particular program before so this is this is awesome uh, so if I want to find like a boot skin, you can just search for that. It finds, yeah, it finds all the files on the system. So yeah, if you, even if you're like, even if you just want to check out this uh, program, it's called Win Metro. Um, what is it called? Win, yeah, Win Metro. Uh, it's a free program. I actually just uh, checked on their website before that I started recording this clip. Um, it is free to download. So if you just want to do install like this individual program on XP or Vista you know, feel free to, to do that. I mean, you can definitely uh, just check out that program if you want. So that is that is really cool. Also, you can see that it does pull in some of your recently used uh, programs into the uh, full screen start menu as well. None of these buttons actually open up anything. We are connected to the network, so I don't know what... Um, Okay, so Bing works, but I guess some of these links are, are just broken. It's probably that way with the weather and, and with the finance app because they just get stuck in this continuous uh, loop here. Before that we sign off though, let's just for fun, check out the uh, new gen Metro start screen and see what that is all about. Okay, so here we go. I finally got uh, the program to run. So this is what it looks like right here. Um, it looks pretty, pretty minimalistic off the bat here. We've got a clock, um, which, oh, so this is like uh, the lock screen. So that's, that's pretty cool. We'll just slide that up and we have a store and that appears uh, to be it. We've got installed. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, uh, okay, something else went wrong. 
Okay, uh, something else is also very wrong because the whole thing is just frozen. Okay, let's just, let's just ignore that for now. I guess this is it. Like, I, I guess this is the, the entire thing. If we hit lock here, okay, so it just, like, locks you back to the regular welcome screen. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess this is it. It's, this is definitely very, oh, we can go to options here. Okay, time format, we'll go to 12 hour time, about, you know, clock widget, okay. Uh, so if you right click on it, it'll show you, like, we can remove that if you want. I don't know how you add stuff to it, though. Like, how do we... Oh, but it does actually replace the, uh, the, the regular, I mean, not this start menu, you can still get to it, but if you press the Windows key, it changes the mapping of the Windows key to open, uh, th this program. So I personally like, um, the other one much better because this one doesn't really appear to have that many options. Um, I don't know if going into, this is the new gen bundled with the UX pack. I just, I think there should be like a regular, let's see here. Yeah, so in this folder here, then in new gen. So this is all of the other stuff. So widgets, it looks like there's a bunch of other widgets. They just don't appear to be showing up and I don't understand what that is about yeah like there's there's definitely other widgets in that oh cool well you can drag them around i just don't know how you make any other widgets appear oh it might actually be through the store that would make sense don't you think we probably would get more widgets through the store it just doesn't appear uh to be working here so that that kind of sucks but so yeah i definitely prefer i mean i do like the fact that this one remaps uh, the windows key but i do prefer the other one but be sure to let me know what you guys think do you guys think that this pack would honestly fool somebody into thinking that this is Windows 10. I personally don't. Um, considering that, I mean, the start menu and the uh, you know taskbar are not translucent, they're not transparent when they actually show up correctly. Um, they've definitely done a good job with the icons, but uh, be sure to let me know what you guys think about this, and definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos featuring packs like this. I, I know that they definitely have a Windows Vista transformation pack. Um, on their website, I mean, Windows X Live is just one of many websites that makes packs like this for Windows, and there's a lot of stuff that I could take a look at, so be sure to let me know, guys, if, you know, down in the comments below if you have any sort of suggestions, questions, or just, you know, comments and, and uh, feedback from me as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and get subscribed down below and hit that bell icon to turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload new videos on this channel which I do every single week and as always guys I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.